Hey, hey, saving my coin, budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha, and in today's video, we are gonna budget out my second paycheck for the month of January. So if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, learning how to budget on a low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you don't have the time and I post this your first time seeing my video. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie, hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. Y'all, how are you doing? How is the family? I hope you are staying warm. I hope that life is going well. If it's not, I'm going to send up a prayer for you. But let me know, how are you? Your homegirl is excited to do the second paycheck. The month is flying on by, but it's okay. We're going to get these coins together. You might see her, hear some background noise. My daughter opened up my door, so she's moving around. So you might hear some cartoons or you know her talking a little bit, but it's okay it's just life so we're gonna get into this budget this is my second paycheck for the month of january and we are in the saving my coin budgets financial planner if you do want to check it out it is linked down below you are going to see me go through a couple sheets um, of this today for this budget and i'm going to receive this paycheck on one what is it one 18 16 yeah i don't know the days are flying by so fast is it 118 i think it's 118 of 23 and this is my full-time income um i am excited i'm going to do a business um budget with me this month i'm going to be doing a um side hustle budget with me so i have some, a couple more budgets to do but I'm excited. So we are going to do, my budgeted income is $1,380. So we are going to see what we got working on. So I am going to go back to my monthly budget. As well as my monthly calendar where we laid out all of the bills. So I'm going to show you. So I do do the, oh it's still 19. So I do do the paycheck by paycheck budget so i do pay specific bills with each paycheck so for this paycheck i have my ties my electric bill which is a uh, com ed i also have my night card gas my at&t phone my discover credit card as well as this is also going to have to go towards my mor my mortgage and my hoa which is due on the first of february so we got some grown-up things to do with this paycheck y'all but it's okay So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this all written out, and we're going to talk about it once I come back. All right, so we have went ahead and laid out our bills for this paycheck. So we have our budgeted income as being $1,380. My tithe, which is my 10% that I Return back to the Lord for being my source, my provider, my way maker. Again, these are personal finances. So what I do with my money is for me. If that is not something that you would like to do, good for you and your household. Next is my mortgage, um, which we did put half of it um, in my last paycheck, which is my January, um, my first January paycheck. And this is the second half to go towards my February mortgage. So it's going to be $600. Next is my HOA, which is my homeowners association for my home. It's going to be $75. And next is my AT&T phone bill, and that's going to be $105. So these are all my fixed expenses. These are expenses that stay the same amount every month, with the exception of the tithe, but because it it can fluctuate sometimes, but I don't like writing it as a fixed expense. I like writing it as a bill that I know that I have to get paid. That's not going to fluctuate is right here. So our budget amount for our fixed expenses are going to be $918. So taken out of the $1,380, that leaves us with $462 which we're gonna now carry from our remaining balance here to make sure that we can pay what's left here in our variable expenses. Variable expenses are expenses that change from every paycheck or every month. The amount is not the same, it's inconsistent. You don't know if it's gonna be higher, lower, or if you're gonna receive a bill. Come on, I wanna receive no bills, okay, but yeah. But it's always different. It's never the same amount, unless you're on like one of those budget plans, but no. Um, these are all fluctuating. 
So for my ComEd, I have $80, which this is electricity for my home. Next, I have NICOR, which this is to heat my home, which I'm going to say 100 because it has been cold here in Illinois. Discover, which is a credit card. I'm going to be paying that off because I did uh, want to keep it active. I haven't used it in a while. So I did put some jeans on there um, before I had did my cash stuffing for my sinking fund. So I do want to pay that off um, for some jeans that I bought for Skylar. So that leaves us with $208. So now we have our cash envelopes as well as our sinking funds. So we have $462. So we have, let's see, how much do we got left we can put into it? So we have $182 that we have. So we're going to go ahead and do a hundred. Do, 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 do. We're going to do $130 into our cash envelopes. The cash envelopes, because I get these questions all the time. My cash envelopes are for my daily expenses. So my personal spending, my daughter's personal spending, eating out, grocery, household, gas. If I decide not to use my credit card um, for the rewards and the cashback opportunities, those are the categories that I have for my cash envelopes. <laughs> Um, if you do not see gas or grocery listed here, it's because it's coming out of my cash envelopes. I just wanted to clarify because I do get those questions all the time. Like, where's your food? It's in my cash envelopes. It's not a lot, but it's in my cash envelopes. So from that 182 minus the 130, we have $52 and we're going to put the $52 into my sinking funds. And sinking funds are for my future selves, future expenses, home emergency, Christmas, back to school, all those fun, fun things. So we had $462 that we had for our variable expenses. And then we now have nothing left because we gave every dollar a home and a name. So there we go for my second paycheck for the month of January. Um, if I do have anything left over in my cash envelopes for my first paycheck, um, then I will possibly roll it over into my cash envelopes or sinking funds, or I'll put it into maybe my emergency fund. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, but we will see. We are going to go ahead and fill out the little chart at the bottom. So what we have for our budgeted income is $1,380. For total expenses, we have the $918. And then we have the ComEd. We also have the NICOR. And we have Discover. Which is really... So we got the 280 plus the 918. So we have total expenses is $1,198. And the total amount that we would have into savings here would be $52, which is for our sinking funds. We're not going to do a cash withdrawal until we do our actuals because I don't know what's going to actually come out. The numbers may change. You may not be able to put anything into sinking funds. We'll see. But this is my budget. Let me know how your budget is. Let me know how your variable expenses are going. Are you over budgeting, under budgeting? Are you hitting it right on the head for every paycheck? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.